Hey guys, Ryan here with a couple quick tips and tricks on how to add some jazz sound to your playing. So I've already done a video before on adding in the major seventh over a minor chord, so you can go check that out. It's kind of got a cool, a cool sound to it. Something kind of like that. This is going to be a little bit different though. So what we're going to do, we're going to be in the key of C. And one of the easiest things you can do to sound jazzy is to stop bending notes and instead sliding into notes from a fret below where you actually want to be. So if we're playing, this is a, uh, a C minor, or C, sorry, a C major pentatonic here. We can slide into these notes and immediately start to sound jazzier. So it immediately starts to give a little bit more of a jazz flavor to your playing. The second thing we can do is we can add in the major seventh note. So not necessarily the major seventh chord, but the major seventh note. It's real easy to find, especially if you know your notes on the fretboard. But even if you don't, all you have to do is find your root note. So in the key of C, our C note here is going to be the eighth fret on the high E string. We're gonna go one fret below, there's gonna be our major seventh. We got them kind of all over the place, so I'll let you kind of figure out where they're at. But we can use that major seventh note to really start to bring out some jazz flavor in our playing. There it is, major seventh. So even just taking a really, really simple lick, you know, and adding in that major seventh immediately makes it sound jazzier than it was before. There it is again, major seven. I'm combining both of those techniques. I'm using the major seventh and I'm sliding into my notes rather than doing a lot of bends. So these are a couple of little tips and tricks that I like to use just to add a little bit of jazz flair. I don't consider myself a jazz player by any means at all, but I do like the sound of it and I do like kind of taking bits and pieces from it, especially if I want to sound maybe a little fancier in a solo or something like that. And it's just, it's good to know and it's fun to know. So I hope you like this video. Leave a comment below, let us know what some of your tips and tricks are for sounding jazzy, and subscribe to the channel if you like this and you want to see other cool videos and stuff, and as always, we will see you next time.